FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next. Welcome. You are listening to the Financial Survival Network. I'm Kerry Lutz, and today is June 30th, 2020. Well, you know, life is about doing a lot of things you don't really want to do, but you have to do, especially if you want to become successful. There's a book that I want you to get. It's called Roger Up. It's by Brent Magnuson. Brent uh, is a former engineer in the Army Corp of Engineers, and it's an interesting book. First, let me know what you think. Email kl at kerrylutz.com. So Roger Up is an interesting term. It basically means, uh, you know, you got to like do what you got to do. Stop complaining. Roger up if I have it right. And Brent, it's great to have you on the show. So tell us Roger up about it. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Kerry, for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, the title of the book Roger up is a, uh, it's a military term uh, that we use in the army. Uh, it's the same as in the civilian world. Suck it up, man up, woman up. Uh, basically when the, when the tough gets going, the going get tough type of thing. When you, when you think you don't have a whole lot more fight left in you, your body and your mind have at least 20 to 30% left. And, uh, when those tough times kick in, it's, uh, that Roger up mantra that we embrace. And, uh, it certainly got me through a lot of times. So that's, uh, that's what it means. All right. So Roger up. And that means that you don't worry about the result, what's going to happen, you concentrate on your effort and making it happen, right? Yeah, effort is uh, effort is everything. And it's, you know, it's really one of the only few things we can control. We can't uh, specifically and individually, we can't control um, as a whole. We can't control the, the racial divide in the country right now. We can't control who's in the White House. We can't control what's going to be on the mainstream media. What we can control is our effort our standards and the decisions that we make, uh, what we decide to listen to, who we decide to listen to, the books we decide to read, what time we decide to get up in the morning. And most importantly, what we decide to do that first 30 minutes of the day um, has a tremendous impact, not just on you and your family, but on all the people around you and that you come into contact with. And uh, that's a big part of the book. The first chapter is the 0530 Blueprint. And it's a, essentially a morning routine on steroids that's incredibly easy to follow. Um, it's not a, a standard that you have to do everything uh, laid out there. It's not me telling you what to do. It's me showing you what's worked for me. And more importantly, what's worked for a tremendous amount of top producers like Tony Robbins to Beethoven and his amazing system of 60 coffee beans that he ground himself every morning. That was unique to him. This is the original thing. Tony Robbins uses cold water therapy. I'm a big cold shower guy. Uh, all these different people, Jocko Willink, what, what works for Navy SEALs, uh, Grant Cardone, what works financially, Mel Robbins, all these different people that uh, help contribute to this 0530 blueprint. And it's about making it your own. And uh, really, at the end of the day, just like anything else, whether it's uh, your morning routine, getting in shape, investing, it's a four-step process. It's learning what works for you to enjoy it. It's building a solid routine. It's getting obsessed and demanding consistency from yourself and then making results. Yeah. And so focus, what about focus? How do you stay focused? I think focus is, it's, it's a challenging one in all honesty, at least it has been for me. And what I've, what I've learned and what I think works for me personally is having small goals. Um, an interesting, uh, interesting story is uh, the gentleman that wrote the book, uh, the foreword for my book, Jason Redmond. He's a retired Navy SEAL, spent 20 years in SEAL teams, was severely wounded in combat a few years ago. And we, uh, we've become very good friends over the years. And he told me that, because I asked him, I never was in the Navy. I was, I'm an Army guy. And I asked him what Bud's was like, the six to seven months, uh, very, very difficult training that SEALs go through. And he said, the hardest thing is trying to see the finish line. He said, the most solid advice I would ever give anyone that's wanting to go through that hellacious program is 
you just focus on your next meal, meaning you don't worry about what you're doing tomorrow. You don't worry about what's happening tonight or next week. You just worry about making it to lunch. And once yes. you get to lunch, you, you get back out there and you just worry about making it to dinner. So essentially one evolution at a time. And I think taking and adopting that mindset has really helped me. And I know it's helped a lot of other people I've talked to in just putting it into small chunks, one evolution at a time, just get to your next meal. So, so I guess what you're saying, and I've seen this before and I've done it is when you've got a huge goal to accomplish, you break it up into little pieces. Like I got this thousand page book I want to read and I don't know how I'm going to read it. Instead, I'm going to read 35 pages a day for the next 30 days. Right. So you break it into its smallest component piece. Do I have that right? Absolutely. If you're reading a thousand page book, um, I love reading. So I'd be, I'd be curious to know what book out there is a thousand pages. That sounds awesome and challenging. <laughs> 30 pages a day, or you're just going to read, I'm assuming a thousand page book probably has at least, uh, at least 20 to 30 chapters. I Correct. Would I'm going to read one chapter a day. Now, whether that's something that takes me 10 minutes or it's a 50 page chapter that takes me three hours. I'm going to read one chapter a day. That's my standard. And uh, yeah, so chunking. Uh, but again, the, the best way I've heard and I have my own ways, but the best way I've heard it broken down is when Jay was explaining that to me about just get to your next meal. It's one evolution at a time. Yeah, that's it. So one step at a time, you know, the, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, right? I think uh, that was Confucius or some Asian philosopher said that. Yeah, it's also in Sun Tzu's book, uh, right. the, the Art of War. So good stuff. Correct. So uh, just tell us, uh, obviously, you've helped other people with this uh, philosophy of success. Just tell us somebody who you've uh, set on the right path. Yeah, there's actually a, uh, an interesting story in, in the book about uh, my, when I lived out in Las Vegas. And, you know, I had uh, just started all of this uh this big journey, if you will, into personal development. I had just done a, an MMA fight in 2010. I had met Tony Robbins and I just really started immersing myself into personal development on top of taking the tools I had from the military and really combining those and building this, this mindset and this philosophy of how I want to live my life. And there was a friend of mine out there who I had got into Brazilian jiu-jitsu, something I, I, I'm an avid practitioner of and still train today. And uh, I remember him telling me, I appreciate it, man, but I don't, because uh, I asked him if he wanted to be a, a test subject for a, a little project I was doing and for goal setting, if he would do this 30-day goal setting challenge. He told me, he said, no, I'm good, Brent. He said, uh, I make 60 grand a year. Uh, my BMW is nice. I got my own condo and my girlfriend lets me go out with the guys whenever I want. And That's perfect. And I remember I told him at that time, uh, and it's in the book, I'm probably not going to say it verbatim, but um, I remember I, I looked at him, I'm like, well, this is probably a better time than ever to be completely honest with my, my good yet confused friend. And what's the worst that can happen? Maybe he punches me in the mouth. And I said, Eric, I, I get that, man. I said, but, uh, you know, at 60 grand a year, you're, you're constantly complaining that you don't have enough money to travel and do the things you want to do. Uh, that BMW talked about 2002 with 140,000 miles on it. Uh, and you and I, you and I both know it's not making it to the end of the year. That condo you talk about that's great that you own is too small. And that's why you have a $300 a month storage unit bill. <laughs> and that girlfriend you're talking about, well, that girlfriend of yours, I'll bet my car and my Ducati that she's cheating on you. But you still get to go out and with the boys. Oh, that's so, so funny. We went back and forth and uh, he agreed if we went out and discussed this goal setting challenge over a good glass of whiskey that he'd listen. And I can honestly say um, that, that this guy made some, some real, and I turned him on to Tony Robbins and we just had a, a great chat and I gave him my ideas and within six months he had made such monumental changes. It turned out that girl was cheating on him uh, and he got rid of her. He got a new uh, job that paid, I think it was twenty-two or twenty-three thousand dollars more a year, just because he had got so complacent and lowered his standards and just accepted what was happening. And then, and then he got, actually got aggressive and went out there and 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 went after and asked for what he wanted. 
and uh, he got back into jujitsu, lost the 22, 23 pounds he wanted to lose. Um, and, uh, yeah, it all, uh, it's all hard work and it's all about taking action. And I think a lot of times we just get so complacent in, in what becomes normal. And, uh, sometimes we just need a, a little change. And I think sometimes we just need to face the fact that it's time to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And that's a big thing. And I couldn't agree with you more. You know, why is it we get complacent when we're not getting where we want to be, when we're not where we want to be in life, but uh, when we are succeeding and making progress, then we're much more likely not to get complacent. I haven't been able to figure that out. FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Financial Survival Network is brought to you today by Orin Resources, a junior exploration company with the appetite of a major. It's hot on the trail of the next globally significant discovery, creating enormous potential upside for you, the shareholder. Orin is one of the most aggressive exploration companies pursuing high-grade, scalable gold and copper deposits and has a premier seven-project portfolio, including its two flagships, Committee Bay in the Arctic and Sombrero in Peru. Orin's unparalleled technical team and highly experienced management has a history of success in advancing and monetizing exploration assets. No wonder Orin's been called one of the best in the junior exploration sector. Orin trades on the TSX and the NYSE under AUG. To learn more, go to orinresources.com. That's A-U-R-Y-N resources.com. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next. Yeah, I haven't either. I mean, I, you know, standards are a really interesting thing. And, you know, it, 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 it all comes down to, again, those very, very few things that we can actually control. We, we can't control so many things. You know, I have so many people that e- email me or DM me or uh, that, I, that I talked to since the book came out a few weeks ago saying, oh, I, I like this or I'm going to try this. And uh, the biggest thing I notice is there's so many people that, self, you know, self-improvement, personal development is, is the least important thing on their list. I know so many people that know more about a political candidate. They know more about the day in day out life of a Kardashian. Yeah. And, you know, they're more, they're more interested in going to a rally that is as profound as it may be in the short term may not have any long-term effects. And they, they know more about all this than they do their own personal development, their, their own health and their wealth is so far down the totem pole and and they're more riled up about what they read on Facebook or what they saw on Netflix when what they should be working on at least half of the time that they're doing those other things is their personal development because it's so important. It, it the, the effects are not just for you. It's for your family. It's for your friends. It's for your potential employer. It's for the, I mean, it, it's just, it's so there's so many branches to, to personal development that branch out to so many different areas and open up so many doors and opportunities. Mm. Um, and if we're just complacent and, and just doing the same old things, you're going to get the same old results. Yeah. Well, that's it. If you don't change, then nothing happening in your life is going to change. Right. hundred percent. And, and that's the most important thing. And therefore, you have to take responsibility for where you are now, even if it's not where you want to be, right? Absolutely. There's things I'm constantly trying to work on. Um, I'm as flawed as I'm as flawed, if not more than the next guy. And there's always, always going to be something you can work on. You know, I know, I know people that, you know, have significant wealth, you know, tens of millions of dollars, and they've done tremendously well for themselves. But by looking at them or looking at uh, some test results from their latest blood work, I mean, they're one step away from being the richest guy in the graveyard. And what's the sense of being successful and all that if you're not happy? What's the sense of having a bunch of money if, if you don't have anyone to enjoy it with or if you're not even happy yourself? And the amount of incredibly wealthy people that are depressed and sad is staggering. So I think it's, it's a matter of, you know, I use jujitsu terms cause I'm a, I'm a jujitsu guy and Brazilian jujitsu is a, a ground fighting system. And I won't bore your audience with all the intricacies of it, but it's a, it's the most effective martial art on the planet. And there's five belts, white, blue, purple, brown, and black. Black belt is, you know, arguably it's the hardest black belt in all the martial arts to earn. You have to compete against other people. You have to train at a hundred percent and you, you can't, 
You can't buy a belt. You can't get away from it. You have to put the work in and it's practical and it works. And the black belt on average takes at least 10 years to get. And, and that's, that's as much time as it takes to become a, a high level doctor or a vascular surgeon. And I think with, with, with that analogy, I use, you don't have to be a black belt in everything. It's good to be a black belt in one thing if you're, if you're fortunate, but if you're just middle of the road, if you're just a purple belt in investing, if you're a purple belt, when it comes to your confidence, if you're a purple belt, when it comes to your communication skills, to goal setting, all these different things, it's such a good baseline to have because there's, there's still room to go up and grow but you're not all over the place. So I strive to at least be a purple belt in the five or six areas of my life that I think are the most important. Yeah. So priority setting priority is really important. Well, I think that uh, you're going to want to get that book, go out there. I assume it's uh, sold at Amazon and wherever fine books used to be sold. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, uh, both the paperback and ebook are sold on Amazon. And right now, uh, through the end of the month, which ends probably about midnight tomorrow, uh, the ebook is only six dollars and sixty nine cents. And I don't promise a lot, but I promise it's the best investment you'll make this year from a book perspective. And the ROI is well, I don't even think I can put a price tag on it because I, yeah. I humbly believe you'll get a tremendous amount out of the book. All right, hey, the book is Roger Up: The Mission Ready Blueprint to Crush the Morning own the day and become the best version of you, which who can argue with that? Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that what you go out every day trying to accomplish by Brent Magnuson and really appreciate you coming on Brent and wish you the best of luck. Absolutely. Continued success to you as well. And I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. FSN Radio. It's all about what's next. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and sign up for your free weekly newsletter. You'll also get three free reports. The Financial Survival Network. It's all about what's next.